How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jordan Coza with Air Spade, joined today by our national sales manager, Craig Schoen, to go over our air excavation for utility and construction webinar. Craig, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate everyone doing the webinar today. A few things that we want to achieve throughout this is for people to better understand what Air Spade is and the advantages of air excavation. We'd also like to introduce our AirVac product line and talk about some of the safety and applications that air excavation is used for. This is a great example of the underground landscape today. Very, very crowded, everything between water, telecommunications, electrical infrastructure. So it's going to be very difficult to use any traditional excavation means, such as an excavator or a backhoe. The air spade is going to be a great alternative to help minimize any damages. Some great figures here from back in 2007 from the CGA. There was over 316 utility strikes in North America. As you can see, the colored chart shows what damages were occurred on what lines, telecommunication and natural gas industries being the largest. The blue chart is actually going to show you what equipment is causing those damages. Backhoes and trenchers, more traditional means, are the, the top equipment being used for those damages. Now, Craig, out of this chart, which uh, category does AirSpade fall into? AirSpade, if anything, would fall under the vacuum equipment category. AirSpade's not necessarily causing any of these damages, but because it's being used with a lot of the vacuum equipment, it falls in that category. Some of the vacuum equipment, the larger trucks, maybe with rotating augers and whatnot, would be the items which could potentially cause the damages. But the airspade is going to be a much safer alternative to anything. The airspade is a air lance, and it's going to be used in combination with any type of vacuum equipment. In some cases, it's also used without vacuum equipment just to aid in hand digging. It's known as dry or soft excavation. As you can see, we also manufacture a line called the AirVac, which is a portable vacuum unit, which can help excavate the soil from a trench, and it will cut down on costs that are associated with some of the larger vacuum trucks. Some of the applications the AirSpade is used for most commonly is line locating to be able to identify where electric gas telecommunication lines are before mass excavation is started. Trenching is also very big for any maintenance applications or installs. And potholing is going to fall into the line locating category. And there's also a few other unique applications, such as utility pole-based excavation or ground rod slash ground wire uh, installation. Here's a quick video to better show what the air spade is capable of and how it works. As you can see, it's not going to cause any damages to any of the infrastructure, and it's going to do an effective job of excavating the soil around it. Now, Craig, you can see in the video here when they're going down deeper, um, what do you suggest that the customers or uh, contractors would do as they're extending down deeper into the hole with the air spade? We make a variety of extensions ranging from two feet to five feet. And we actually have multiple customers use multiple extensions for deeper depths. A lot of times in the vacuum truck industry, they're going to pair a larger air spade with the vacuum equipment when they're going 10, 12 feet deep. This is a nice breakdown of the specific applications I mentioned earlier, trenching, potholing, and also keyholing. As I mentioned, trenching is going to be for a larger scale excavation when maintenance or insulation of any utility infrastructure is occurring. Potholing is typically going to be verifying any of the lines or the locates of the infrastructure before any larger excavation is occurring. Now, it seems here that people are using the air spade and the uh, air back in tandem. Would you suggest that? Yes, it's actually going to speed up excavation quite a bit. Um, the air vac is used a lot of times to help cut down on costs and get people the ability to use vacuum excavation. But in a lot of cases, in larger large, larger projects or larger companies, they're actually going to have large vacuum trucks that use the air spade along with the vacuum. So the foundation of the air spade is really an air compressor. 
we show a 185 cubic feet per minute CFM compressor here because it's the most common. So the compressor is going to generate the air which is needed for the air spade to work properly. Once that compressed air hits the soil, the soil is made up of soil and air particles. So that the air particles are going to move and the soil is going to be dislodged, helping excavate. No non-porous material such as metal, plastic, any sensitive cables, even tree roots will be affected. So it's a completely safe way to excavate, even safer than using a shovel as that can cause many damages. These are some of the features of our utility-specific air spade we've designed for the utility and construction industry. A couple of the key features is that it has non-sparking fittings and a non-sparking nozzle, which is essential when working around utilities. It also has a non-conductive insulated barrel rated up to 75 kilovolts per foot along with an inner hose. The air is actually going to be flowing through the inner hose, not the fiberglass which is a great safety feature. Another safety feature is our dead man trigger, which is gonna help keep the user safe if the unit is dropped, it will cease any airflow. Our handle is actually very ergonomic as well, as it has multiple handles. So you can actually use a traditional pistol grip, or you can use it with a two-handed grip to be able to help with vertical style trenching. Now, Craig, can you go over uh, more in depth with the nozzles here? It looks like this three different options. Correct. We have three different nozzle sizes depending on the type of compressor you have available. Our 105 CFM unit will operate off of a smaller compressor, but it's also going to be the least powerful unit. We have a 225 unit that's going to be great in harder soils or clays, but that's going to require a much larger compressor. The 150 unit is definitely our most common because it's a great efficiency and power but it's gonna run off a common 185 compressor, which most people have access to. One thing we like to educate people on is the dangers of homemade air lances. As I mentioned, the Airspade 4000 features a dead man trigger. A traditional homemade air lance is only going to have a ball valve, which is gonna be very dangerous as it's always left open and on. If that unit is dropped, it could cause some flailing of the unit, which could then cause damages or significant injuries. A big feature of the air spade as well is that it's thermally insulated. Homemade blowpipes are typically all metal, so compressed air runs very hot. Without thermal insulation, it's going to be very uncomfortable for the user, and it could also pose a burn risk. Uh, obviously, with the metal, there's no electrical insulation as the air spade features as well. So all in all, our product is much more efficient. It's going to help cut down on the expensive compressed air cost, and it's also going to keep your users much safer. As I introduced earlier in the presentation, we do manufacture a product called the AirVac. The AirVac is a mobile vacuum unit which is going to act in the same manner as a vacuum truck, just much smaller scale. It's going to effectively suck up soil, dirt, gravel, any muck. And I do have a video to show you it working. As you can see, it's very lightweight to aluminum body, so two people can easily load it or unload it from a pickup truck. It's also going to suck up two cubic feet of dirt per minute, so it's going to be very effective in the multiple soils or gravels. Now, Craig, what type of compressor would you use to power this unit? Uh, the AirVac unit can actually run off the same exact compressor as the AirSpade, so most people will use them together, using the AirSpade to loosen up the material and the AirVac to suck it up and out of the trench. You can then dump it right on site, and you don't have to worry about bringing in backfill or disposing of muck. This is a great example, the chart on the top of how the unit works. It's called the Venturi Principle. So there's air flowing through the vacuum, which causes a vacuum effect, and the air flows out. There's no moving parts or anything to maintain, so it's essentially a maintenance-free unit. This is a little chart here to show you what products and accessories we have available. As I said earlier, we do have extensions from two to five feet if you're looking to dig deeper. We also make various hoses and couplers. 
One really good accessory that many people use is our 45 degree angle adapter, which is gonna help shoot air in multiple orientations depending on what you're excavating. All right, well, we'd like to thank Craig for giving us that great webinar. Craig, thank you so much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's Craig's information here if you wanna reach out to him. Um, again, Craig, thank you for giving us the educational webinar and uh, we'll let you take it from here and let the people know how they can reach out to you. Please feel free to reach out via email or phone. I'm always available to help support specific applications or projects. Look forward to hearing from everyone, and really thank you for your time today. Have a good one. Thank you, everybody.